Hi there and welcome to another episode of Nerf Hunt. Episode 9, 375.86. New driver, I think it's mainly for the newer games to come out. Uh, yeah, performance, basically the same as the previous driver. So, slight dips here and there, but overall, nothing to write home about. So, as you will see in my benchmarks uh, display, um, I'm using 372.9 as my basically reference driver performance. Okay, some of the, uh, the benchmarks doesn't have figures for 372.9, but since that's the best driver I've had in all the episodes I've done so far, that one will now be, until a better one comes along, be the standard that I'm mentioning against. You will also see I'm only showing the last newest five with this uh, benchmark driver uh, performance in the graphs. And you will also see I've added uh, Days X, uh, Mankind Divide, DX12, since I finally actually got working stably. So that's been added. Uh, also, the, the, you'll see a little discrepancy in the DX12 performance versus the DX11 performance for the previous driver 375.70 because of the updates that came through for Deus Ex Mankind Divide so that might be a small little thing to pick up on I am getting requests for adding the newer games and such which I try to do where I can uh, as I get newer games I actually check them out if they've got internal benchmarks but since i don't have really get a lot of time to do this this is all my spare time that i do this anyway so i can't really do in intensive benchmarking where i have to run through a certain set of single player game gameplay and such scripted and so forth um uh, for now not going to be in this in the pipeline Never know, might be included later on, but I'm also now also looking at removing some of the games from the benchmarks that I'm doing, like Batman Arkham Knight, Battlefield 4, and even Dragon Age Inquisition. So I would definitely appreciate if you guys can tell me in the comments which games you think I should be dropping from my benchmark list, which I'm currently benchmarking. And if you do know of any nice games that's actually newer, that have internal benchmarks that I haven't done added yet, let me know in the comments also. I would definitely appreciate it. I, I'll try and be, do my best here. Um, yeah, otherwise, this. it doesn't really have any negative po bad points. Maybe half a frame per second or maximum a frame per second uh, degradation to some games, mainly the older games. But, I must say, DX12 seems to be stabilized. The DX12 performance seems to be good. Uh, DX11 seems to be wishy-washy. So, yeah. Let's, let's see what the uh, graphs show. Now, fire strike, it's basically exactly the same. Slightly down, but nothing major. Times, times by, yeah, same issue there, really nothing major, Evan, also roughly the same performance,
rally. Again, nothing new, same performance. SX Mankind Divide. Now here, you'll first see my DX11 performance uh, graphs. Uh, not too bad. The uh, latest drivers, uh, I, I take it the performance increase is definitely more to do with the patch rather than the drivers. So thanks for the guys to actually get the game working a little bit better. Uh, I've, now we're going to the DX12 performance. I only have two benchmarks that I've got in DX12. Uh, the previous driver, as you can see, it's a different lot from the DX11. But again, I think that's post-update uh, on the game. And again, DX12 on the latest driver seems to be slightly higher performance than the DX11. So I'm quite happy with that. You, I wouldn't have expected that, so that's not the norm. Oh, I've skipped the Gears of War. Gears of War 4. Same performance, nothing new. A little bit down, maybe, but nothing major. Doom, OpenGL. Roughly the same. I wouldn't say it's going up much, although Vulcan seems to be slightly up. Which, I don't know, it seems like Nvidia is actually fo focusing more on trying to get Maxwell to perform in Vulcan and DX12, even though it's not really a full hardware implementation yet so i think they're doing a shitload of work in the drivers to make it work but it's maybe coming at the de 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 detriment to dx11 far cry primal oh same performance the dragon age inquisition roughly also same performance admin arkham knight oh nothing major there and battlefield 4 well same story as usual you know now you understand why i actually want to get rid of the the old games there's no movement on them so there's no real real need for me to actually show those performances i would say i might, might want to keep them just in terms of benchmarks so i could report on them on them if i find something major in terms of performance differences yes i could do that I can just ignore them totally but yeah that's uh, I'll, I'll i'll gather what i should do from your guys' uh, feedback um yeah so basically the nerf is not not official i wouldn't say there's an official nerfing happening i think it's more shift in performance aspects of focusing on getting the games to work that are uh, targeted towards dx11 uh, dx12 and vulcan so DX11 will be okay, but it will not be getting the love it used to have, it used to get. I think it's Nvidia is now focusing more on getting the performance figures for Vulcan and DX12 up. So trade off. Let's keep an eye on. I don't think there's some, anything major, but even if you don't play any of the newer games. If you don't need to use this driver, you don't have to. I don't. You don't. You don't force it. I. I really say. Think of it in your context. What do you want to play? Is this something that you want to do? With you want to stay on the newest driver? Then it's all up to you. Just be sure to make always a clean installation. That's always the best option. You don't get all the old gunk being dragged forward every time and causing issues later on clean installations are always better if you really want to do a serious clean installation you can do that uh, display driver uninstall utility ddu and then install the driver afterwards that's an option but yeah i have the clean installation option on the driver installation for from via has been good so far i haven't had any issues so, yeah, as I said, the nerve is not there yet. I will keep my eye on it, but I will definitely need you guys' feedback and uh, support. 
let me know what you think is will help what what's not helping subscribe if you want to keep, uh, keep track of this if you're interested in this give me a like give me this like let me know what it works what doesn't work and if you really want to help me out consider becoming a patron um this might help me out to actually get more things done get more detailed benchmarks get more games benchmark get more new stuff so i can actually get some quality information to you guys i try i'll try my best but with your help i can do it better so thank you for watching i hope to see you soon in the next video cheers